some people y'all good? Okay, so I always like to introduce myself so everybody is comfortable with me, so that I'm comfortable with y'all. Fair enough? All right, my name is Alfred King. I live right here in Dallas, Texas, but I'm originally from Zimbabwe, Africa. Yes, yes, yes. I'm Ebola free. I'm healthy. I'm healthy. No diseases. You know, ma'am, if a little split fly out and land on your lip, don't rush your husband out of here. Tell my take me to Texas Presbyterian. The Africans spat on me. They won't be able to do nothing for you. You've been quarantined for three weeks, okay? That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, listen, ladies and gentlemen, being an immigrant from Africa, uh, I still get crazy questions living here. I've been here for 18 years, and people still ask me stupid questions. I can't stand stupid questions. Guy asked me, he said, bro, are you sure you're from Africa? Because you don't sound African. <laughs> Sound? Africa? So let me tell you something, player. <laughs> Africa is not a accent. Africa is a continent. Different regions have different ways of speaking. And I so happen to come from the real dirty, dirty South. You know, in Zimbabwe. Oh. You know, and we speak English down there. Oh. And, and, and I gotta be appreciative to the white people from England. They came over, you know, and they took the place over like they do everywhere else. <laughs> You know, and, and they said, who wants to learn English? And I wasn't doing nothing. I said, well, I'll go. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't say it like that, because I couldn't speak English then. What I said was, you <laughs> know. So, a lot of people still don't understand that till today. Like the other day, I went to do an audition for a play. Right here in Dallas. I'm still pissed off. Because <laughs> I heard they were looking for an African to play the role of an African. I said, how hard can this be? <laughs> you know, I live it every day, you know. <laughs> so I went in there, I did my lines, and the dude, he came back and he told me, he said, man, I'm afraid to tell you, but you didn't get the part. I said, what do you mean I didn't get the part? I'm the only African in here. <laughs> he said, yeah, but you ain't a real African, but we're looking for a real African. I said, man, I am real. I'm so African, everything I'm wearing on me right now is fake. <laughs> the zoo, the animals get together, they start singing. Because <laughs> real recognize real. You know? I said, I can't believe this. I can't even play my own self. So I left that place. I was really pissed off. Jumped into a cab. Cab driver was darker than me. <laughs> He's going to say some stuff that I'll never forget. He said, my brother, what is your destination, my brother? I said, what did you just say? He said, you are our destiny. I said, man, forget my destination. We need to go back in here. So you can audition for this play. I got a feeling you're the type of African they're looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, Ulumbu from Lagos, he got the point. Now, I'm his agent. <laughs> now, we gotta break bread. I gotta eat, you know. But I gotta tell y'all this. Y'all remember those little babies y'all used to see on National Geographic with flies and boogers all up there? No, just, and you were compelled to send 50 cents a day? Y'all remember? Well, doggone it, look at me now. <laughs> They get super mad. You are an idiot, you. Don't you ever go back to Africa, you retarded rhinoceros. <laughs> Telling them 50 cents a day. What do you think we eat with that grass of us? But I ain't going back. I got my papers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, y'all been a great audience. <laughs> 